Hello everyone, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Thanks for stopping by, checking out today's video. I've got a brand new fragrance first impressions video for you today. Not that long ago, ah, close to a year ago, I would say Hero by Burberry, the Eau de Toilette was released. It is a fresh, woody, modern fragrance for men, but it did lack just a bit in the performance department. Today, I'm very happy to bring you finally, though it's been out for a little while, my first impressions of Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. So stick around, I got that and more coming your way shortly. Welcome back everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far. Happy that you took some time out of your busy day to stop by and check out this video. It's my first impressions of Burberry Hero The Eau de Parfum. Often when we talk about fragrance lines and flankers, sometimes we think about the Eau de Parfum as being the improved version or not necessarily the improved version, but they fixed all that was wrong with the original Eau de Toilette fragrance. Now that's not always the case, but I do think that that is the case in this case with the Eau de Toilette Hero. Don't get me wrong, Hero is by no means a, a bad fragrance, but jumping ahead in this first impressions, just to tell you straight up, Hero, the Eau de Parfum is a true Eau de Parfum, meaning it uses the same ingredients, just just more of and it's everything that this should have been. Now the possible negative in that is if you already own Hero like I do, having the Eau de Parfum kind of does make the Eau de Toilette a bit redundant. It's not necessarily necessary to have because everything that you like about Hero is definitely in the Eau de Parfum. It's just more and it's just better performance. I'm fast forwarding in my first impressions here. I'm not gonna talk about the presentation very much. As you can see, it's the exact same bottle as Heroes, just darker, just like you would imagine it to be. And when we think of dark, we think of something that's richer, more solid, more substantial. And those are adjectives perfectly describing the Eau de Parfum. We know what it looks like. And if you didn't know, the bottle shape is mimicking a horseshoe. So it's no mistake that they actually have a horse in the commercial with Adam and Driver. It's just a very modernistic kind of shape representing the modern style of the fragrance. So we know what it looks like. What about the fragrance itself? Now that I've spilled the beans that it's a true Eau de Parfum and we know it has the same notes in it, what's the more? What are the notes that aren't in? the Eau de Toilette. Hero Eau de Parfum features a warm trio of cedar wood oils. What are the three cedars? There's Atlas Cedar. There's Himalaya Cedar. And Virginian Cedar. Now the fragrance opens with pine needles and it blends with benzoin, which is warm and sweet, and then frankincense or incense. So what makes the fragrance more substantial and what makes it an oriental woody fragrance? So there you go, the three cedars, you've got pine needle, you've got benzoin, you've got frankincense, and that is the kind of the amalgamation, the formula that makes up Burberry Hero, the Eau de Parfum. One thing I've noticed about the open of Hero Eau de Parfum, it's reminiscent, and you might have found this too if you smelled it, it's reminiscent of One Million Elixir because it does have that heavier, darker, more substantial, resinous kind of aroma in the very open. Not quite as bright because it doesn't have Apple and Davana in it, so it doesn't hit that higher, brighter olfactory registry like One Million Elixir does, but it has that kind of brighter warmth and welcoming aroma to it. But that dissipates relatively quickly. You immediately get into the entire body of the fragrance where literally it stays. The journey with Hero Eau de Parfum is relatively short. That relatively bright, warm, rich, masculine open leads into that cedarwood trio and then the darker, warmer benzoin and incense. The good thing about the benzoin that is different than a one million elixir, quite a bit different, the fragrances don't smell the same. Elixir is a very sweet fragrance. Hero Eau de Parfum starts out hinting at a bit of sweetness, but it dissipates in time where there, there's no sweetness whatsoever. So those of you that don't like men's fragrance that are sweet, you'll like Hero Eau de Parfum for that reason, because the sweetness dies off in a relatively short period of time in that dry down. There are two primary constituents about performance that was fixed in the Eau de Parfum that was kind of a fault line in the Eau de Toilette, and that is projection and performance. Hero EDP projects quite a bit more than does the Eau de Toilette, which is unusual because it is heavier. The heavier concentration of oils causes it to sit heavier on the skin, 
but it does have a bit of a blossoming or blooming effect that the Eau de Toilette doesn't have, therefore it projects better. And of course it lasts longer because of that denser or heavier concentration. I've worn this for several days now in preparation for my first impressions video and easy for this fragrance to go a full eight hours. And even after taking a shower, it's still there are still remnants of that cedar, benzoin, and incense. Taken as a whole, Hero Eau de Parfum is a great step forward in the Hero line. It, I think, is going to ensure that the line doesn't discontinue or doesn't go away. Really well done fragrance. About the presentation, they've maintained the magnetic lid. Uh, everything else has been maintained. I think it's a really solid offering for 2022. It's almost less than a year since the original was released, so I feel like they wanted to quickly fix the issues that were pretty evident in Hero the Eau de Toilette, and I think they did a really good job. All right, so now that we've talked about Hero Eau de Parfum just a bit, what about the cost? Is the cost on par with the fragrance quality, and should you run out and purchase it? Well, I definitely understand there's a bit of a consumer bug kind of sort of when a new fragrance comes out to want to run out and purchase it. And for those of you that have disposable income at your fingertips, by all means, go out and do that. But for most of you, like myself, that have to budget for purchases like that, it can be a bit expensive. And I can't say that I wasn't a little bit surprised at the price of it. It's a, it's a bit of a, a heftier cost for a designer fragrance. First of all, it doesn't feel like there's a ton of notes. Of course, not all notes are published. There's definitely a lot more in the fragrance than what's being published in all likelihood because it is a true eau de parfum and they don't list all the notes that are actually in Hero, the eau de toilette, which we know that they're directly transposed to the eau de parfum. So there kind of is that feeling that you're getting a fragrance that's not on par with a Dior Sauvage Elixir cost to fragrance ratio. So I'm going to give you two recommendations that fall outside of the realm of having the budget to just be able to purchase it. If you are going to get it, go ahead and just wait a little bit until it hits discounters and then it's definitely going to be well worth it. But if you do want to go out and buy it right now, the best thing to do is to try to find it on sale. Now, I am in no way associated with Macy's. I don't have a horse in the race whether you purchase it or not off of Macy's, but I did happen to notice while I was looking over their website that it's currently on sale. Right now, you can get a five ounce or 150 ml bottle, which is rather large. I don't know if you'd want to have a bottle that large, but if you do, it's about $145 for a 150 ml bottle. Now you can get a 3.3 ounce or a regular 100 ml bottle for about $111 at Macy's right now. Or if you want to opt for the 1.6 or 50 ml bottle, it is 88 and change. So that's the sale right now. I'm not sure how long it's going on at Macy's, but if you're going to grab it, grab it at Macy's or somewhere like that that's actually lowering the price. I think the code is FRIEND, F-R-I-E-N-D, and that will drop the price so that you can purchase it with a bit of a discount. In terms of what kind of weather and what kind of situation that Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum is best maximized for. Although I can definitely see that they've tried to create a signature scent out of this fragrance. And by that, I mean they've just made it super versatile. It's not a fragrance that's so bogged down by a particular label or genre. So absolutely, it's a signature scent. You can wear it in pretty much any kind of weather. The only weather you wouldn't want to wear it in is, of course, the very hot. And if you're going to be out somewhere that's extremely hot, I would recommend either not wearing a fragrance or just wearing a light citrusy, fresh, like a shower fresh fragrance and not something that's a bit heavier. Definitely not an eau de parfum of a fragrance, especially if you're sweating. It adds not only longevity, but projection to your fragrance heat does that. Otherwise, have at it. But just like any oriental woody fragrance, it's best used in cold weather. It's definitely a fall fragrance, definitely a winter fragrance, and early days of spring. It's going to be one of those that can be worn casually, but it can also be a signature scent and a dress up. You know, you can upscale it. It has that kind of vibe about it too. There's always a bit more refinement in an eau de parfum flanker than there is in the original. Usually, sometimes that's not the case, but it definitely is kind of amping up of the formula. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up my first impressions of Burberry Hero, the Eau de Parfum, a really solid oriental woody fragrance. I would recommend waiting till it hits discounters before you go ahead and chunk down that money for it, but it's going to be well worth owning in the end. If you do own Hero EDP, let me know what your thoughts are about its performance, what you like about it, and what you don't like about it in the comments below. Thanks again for stopping by and checking out today's video. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.